programme we were talking to Sinn Féin councillor Nicola Lawless uh, who was saying um, there should be some revision of the property tax for the hard pressed taxpayers of County Wicklow it didn't happen there's going to be no reduction the chair of the council is Pat Fitzgerald Fianna Fáil, good morning Pat morning, Declan. good morning, so it stays the same it stays the same Declan yeah, there's no reduction um, there was a um, majority of the members uh, felt that um, we couldn't, that the, the, the council couldn't afford to reduce, councillors couldn't afford to reduce the property tax. And uh, looking at the figures, I personally agreed with that. Um, the issue I have really with the property tax is that uh, there's 17 million, uh, the property tax 100% being paid would amount to 17 million in Wicklow, but because of the regulations and the uh, the government requirement we have to put uh, 3,400 of that into an equalisation fund which helps to um, give extra funding to the weaker counties let's say for instance um, Taro is one of them there where there's only approximately uh, 3 or 4 million collected in property tax and uh, the likes of Calvin and whatever else every county puts money into the equalisation fund we don't get money back but our counties get money back How do you feel about that? I, I totally disagree with it. And, and Do you ever see the houses in Cavan? You should, uh, if you go to a match in Clonus and come back yeah. over the border into Cavan, you should see the mansions that are up there with, can, with I, hardly I, any I, property tax. I, I know, and if you look at Monaghan, 3.5 million is the, is the total declared. If you look at Donegal, um, the, the figure is 11 million. Uh, but we are 17 million, and that's what we have to deal with. And in fact, then we lose 3.4 million of that to the equalisation fund. And how do they manage in Dunleary Rat Down? Well, Dunleary Rat Down there is, is 44 million. So that's, the, uh, prop, that's what they declare, but they have to uh, give a fair amount of that in. I don't know the figure, but. Yeah, but they can the, still bring down the property tax. And because they have the money. They have, the, they have the money to provide the services. I mean, we are faced with expenditure, a uh, projected expenditure uh, estimate for next year of 98 million. We haven't got, at the moment, we wouldn't have an income, so that's going to have to be cut back. And uh, last year, we have we had discretionary funding. We do, we do have discretionary funding. And last year, we had uh, 3.4 million discretionary funding. And that was used just simply for some items. If we had to reduce the figure last year, we wouldn't have had that. But we have uh, we had issues throughout the county. The recycling centre, 250,000 went to the recycling centres. Uh, the swimming pools in Arklow and Wicklow, 250. Economic development, 275. The municipal district's discretionary funding, which is on 580,000. 150, the homeless funding. And the spread throughout the county, 3.4 million. And we have to have some discretionary funding this year. And the other thing is, I mean, uh, we have had increases or decreases in funding. We have been going towards the budget. There's a, a decrease in global revaluation. That's where some of the utility companies are revalued. And the valuation office revalued them and it's a loss of 562. Okay, 000. well, do you still get the road tax and do you still get the, do you still get the, if anybody's paying water charges, I don't know, but you. No, we don't get the water charges anyway. But, but do, you get the, do you get the motor tax? I wouldn't, no, we don't get the motor tax, no. Where does, where does that go? <laughs> Central government, I'd imagine. You mean the we stuff do. that's paid, the money that's paid into Wicklow well, goes to a road I'm tax sure doesn't go into Wicklow. It wasn't it supposed to go into Wicklow. It should be going into Wicklow. I'm not clear on that, what funding we get from that, they tend to be quite honest about. Um, I know there has been issues about that before where people were paying tax on Wicklow and we do get road, like, look at that, and be quite honest, we do get road grants. I mean, that did, like, I mean, that's common, them road grants would obviously be coming from uh, motor tax, the collection of motor tax. So we do get uh, a, a funding uh, every year for um, right. further roads improvements. Okay, we must we must uh, investigate that. Moving on to to something else, sponsoring a roundabout. Who, who's who'd be gaining on that, and who do you want to sponsor the roundabout tonight? Well, I mean, the, the advertisement went out there uh, some weeks ago there for the sponsoring of the four roundabouts within Arklow, and certainly the three of them on the Wexford Road as we exit Arklow, one on the on the Dublin Road, and. Certainly, reflecting from the interest there this morning, I was just checking on it there, there are 20 uh, expressions of interest to sponsor the roundabouts because it does enable um, companies to get for a higher profile. It gives them good advertising. I mean, the number of cars that are passing each of them roundabouts and pedestrians, and I mean, it has to be a help. So it's, it's 
it's uh, there will be decisions made on that in the next few weeks there who's going to be going. But as as, as things stand this morning, there are twenty expressions of interest in yeah. the roundabouts. A, te- a, text- a texture says, "Will I be looking at the ads and not concentrating on my driving?" <laughs> but that's another <laughs> that's another point and I mean it, that is a, a point but I mean I think they will be done quite tastefully and there will be procedures to be followed here like you know we're not going to have Las Vegas on the roundabout yeah. like you know there will be signs there and, and the money will go to? oh the money will go to the Arco Municipal District right it might, yeah. it might help the property tax then well it <laughs> might help the property tax <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, I don't know about I don't know about that section. And when will the decision be made, Pat? Uh, the decision on these. Well, I mean, they, they will be set down and looking at them in the next three weeks because obviously, coming up to Christmas, people will be like, quite keen to get their um, advertisements on the roundabouts. So you can put two signs on the roundabouts, but the council will be still uh, responsible for the upkeep, that grass, and whatever else. But as I say, there seems to be a huge. I'm surprised at the interest, to be quite honest. But it just, as I say, I just checked it there, and there's over twenty. I know people that have contacted myself there, but the, the council, the officials will be dealing with that and uh, that strict cri- criteria, the logo, the lettering and the size of the signs will be monitored, like, you know, so, but I mean, I, can take, I travel a good bit and I go into Gory there uh, and I keep mentioning Gory sometimes, but you take the, the roundabouts on the periphery of Gory there, there's nice advertisements on them and there's one or two within the town as well there. And it could be good earners. Got to leave it there, Pat. Thank you very yeah, much indeed. Thank you much. Talk Thanks again. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you. Councillor Pat Fitzgerald, Fianna Fáil there in Arklow. Now, I'll give you the next clue of carbon monoxide.